Hello to all my jam friends. We've all missed seeing you every Sunday morning at the 9.30 Mass at St. Paul's. One of the things I was most excited to do with you was the May crowning. And today at church, they're going to be crowning Mary. So I thought I'd share a, a story of Mary and Jesus together called the Wedding at Cana and also share with you some crafts that you can do with your families. So I'm going to get started reading from Mary's stories from the Bible. The title of our story is The Wedding Feast at Cana. It was a day of celebration in the village of Cana. Two young people had gotten married, and everyone was full of joy. The bride, lovely in her wedding dress, was moving from table to table, greeting the guests. When she stopped in front of one woman, dressed in blue. Mary, she exclaimed, thank you for coming all the way from Nazareth. I would have traveled farther than that for such a great day, replied Mary. Jesus and I are pleased to be here with you. Your son is here too, asked the bride. Mary pointed to a man in white tunic chatting with friends at a neighboring table. That's him, she said. I would never have recognized him, said the bride. It's been such a long time since I last saw him. Mary nodded. Yes, he's a grown man now. He's come with some of his disciples who've been following him for several days now. At that moment, an old man cried out, Waiter, more wine. My glass is empty. As the bride moved on, Mary watched the waiter approaching. He was staring into the bottom of his jug with a worried look. Why did he seem so troubled when everyone was having such a good time? He poured the jug, but after just a few drops, there was no more wine. I'm sorry, stammered the waiter. The jug is empty. We'll go and fill it up again, the old man snapped impatiently. Yes, of course, said the waiter. He went off. Mary could see him showing the jug to another servant and overheard the second servant's reply. What a disaster! We don't have any more wine and the guests will surely soon to start to notice. Mary went to Jesus who was still talking with his friends. She put her hand on his shoulder and whispered, They have no more wine. Jesus looked into his mother's eyes. Why are you telling me this, mother? My hour has not come yet. Mary said nothing, but her look spoke volumes. It was as though she were saying, I know that you can do something. Jesus saw that his friends were curious. They looked at Mary, then at their empty cups. Then they looked to him. So he got up from the table. Mary immediately went to find the waiters. She pointed Jesus out to them, just as he was slipping away to the back of the house. Do whatever he tells you, she told them. The surprised servants caught up with Jesus. He was standing before six huge empty stone jars. He said to the two servants, fill these jars with water. The servants hesitated. That would take them some time. And they wondered what good it would do anyway. Mary's instructions had been very clear, so they obeyed. When they were done, Jesus said, Now draw some out and go serve it to the master of the banquet. The servant went to the table of honor with a full jug. The master of the banquet was busy chatting to the groom, had a notice that his cup was empty. He absently held it out to the waiter. As the liquid began to flow, the waiter almost dropped the jug. It was wine. The master of the banquet tasted it, opened his eyes wide and turned to the groom saying, how unusual. Normally people serve the best wine first. And once the guests have had plenty to drink, they bring out the cheaper wine, but you have saved the best for last. I've never tasted wine so delicious. Where have you been hiding it? The servants were bursting to tell what had happened, but Jesus, raising his fingers to his lips, said, 
And the master of the banquet raised his glass to make a toast. Long live the newlyweds. May their love be as perfect as this extraordinary wine. Everyone applauded. The servants then began filling all the guest glasses, but they were no longer worried and joined in the general rejoicing. Yes, everyone was very happy, very happy indeed. And this is a beautiful story of Jesus and Mary working together. Mary encouraged Jesus to perform his first miracle. And Mary represents us in the wedding and her concern for all of us and taking care of us. And Jesus listens to his mother and performs the miracle of turning the water into wine. So for Mother's Day and the May crowning, we have some suggested craft activities that you can do with your families. The first is one of our favorites that we did together, the coffee filters and the water and the colors spreading. And you can make a flower using your coffee filter. We also have daffodils with, made with craft sticks and cupcake liners. And you can make several of those and put them into a bouquet. Another is just simply using a pipe cleaner and some uh, cupcake tins to make a little bouquet of flowers. Any of these things will be fun to do with your families. And please share your pictures on our Families and Growing Men Faith page to show how you celebrated Mary and Mother's Day. We miss you so much and we hope to see you soon. Bye-bye.